Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. We are back again of course with another point and click adventure game, and this time we are back in Union City, playing Beyond a Still Sky. Yeah, this has been a long time coming, it's a sequel to the 1994 point and click game Beneath a Still Sky, uh, which is a game I Let's Played all the way back in 2012 on this channel. That's over 11 years ago now. Um, but yeah, it was actually the second ever point and click game on the channel. I was a complete newbie to the genre. It's probably really rough around the edges now looking back, but at the time I didn't know anything about Revolution Software or Broken Sword or anything like that. And, um, and then in 2020, they finally decided to make a sequel and here we are. So I gotta be honest, my memory of the first game is quite scarce. Uh, yeah, I remember there was a little robot called Joey. I remember there was a cyberpunky dystopian city, Union City, and that the ending of the game got really weird, going through sort of portals and different dimensions and mutant stuff and people dying. I yeah, something like that anyway. So I'm really hoping there's some sort of recap at the beginning of this game. I mean, come on, it kind of deserves it, doesn't it? And that would jog my memory into what on earth is going on in this, because I, I honestly know nothing about this game and how it moves on from the first one, so it's going to be a complete surprise to me. Anyway, enough waffling, let's see what's in store. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark! And demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Marlo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Milo had gone, the machine too, but its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. 
Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Oh. Oh, we're playing. All right, then. Well, how's about that, eh? There was a bit of an introduction for you. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how useful it was. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I remember, yeah, so at the end of the game, the original, the, the Beneath the Still Sky, you give up Joey to then take over Union City. That I remembered, but I felt like it. there was a lot it did not include. Um, and then, yeah, we, we left for the Gap, which is like the Outback, and now we're, we're going back to rescue a little boy named Milo. Um, man, okay, and obviously it's a, a whole new art style. Uh, the first game was a a pixel art 2D game and we're now in the the third dimension here and actually it's uh, I like how this looks it's got a sort of comic book cell shaded look to it but not not hugely like not so much that it looks ugly um, and you may have noticed there's that sort of comic book theme to the opening cutscene because that's what the first one had and it was I think it had a famous comic book writer involved or maybe the artist I can't remember. But anyway, um, that's why it has this sort of aesthetic to it. Right, so, let me just check these controls. Is everything working? Yes, good. Oh, we got, we got stuff already. What is this? We got a crowbar. Carbon steel crowbar. The pie. Oh yeah, Anita's delicious pie. That's all we wanted. And then the finger, the android finger, recently detached from its owner. Whoever stole Milo. We got hints. Oh, good. It's got in-game hints. Oh, I don't know. It's just where I've been playing older point and clicks and then I come to these ones from from recent times and it's got stuff like this and it's just, oh, it's so nice. Okay. Uh, right, let's carry on. So where's this girl? Oh, there she is. <gasps> the gang gang birds are near her. You stay away from them. 
You stay away from her, gang gang birds. She's not dead yet. Oh, that guy is, though. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. Oh, you pesky gang gang birds, you... Uh, right, what's this? Objects that Foster can interact with are highlighted with a reticule. Uh-huh, I see. Uh, to interact, send to your screen on a reticule and move towards it. Hello. Uh, when Foster is close enough, the reticule will animate. Left click to uh, to call up the interact menu. And then, all right, yeah, right, great. Let's examine. Out the way, birds. They propped against a rock. Mhm. Mm and then a gang gang. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. What? Hang on. What else could I do with the gang gang birds inventory? I could crowbar them. Use the mouse wheel or click the carousel arrows to scroll through Foster's inventory. All right. Select a compatible inventory item and click the menu options to use it. Right. So I could distract them with some pie or I could just whack them. <gasps> oh. There were a few things that would scare gang gangs and a crowbar was not one of them. I would need to find another solution. Oh, come on, Foster. There's just a few little lousy birds. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. All right, all right, all right. I get the picture. We'll have to give them our delicious pie, I suppose. There you go. Have my nice pie. Right, you enjoy that. I hope you choke. What's this then? The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Union City. I was back. I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Well, it doesn't exactly look thriving. I'm just going to be honest, I'm sure Joey has done a bang up job since we've been gone, but I'm just telling it how as I sees it. Oh. As I was saying, uh, welcome. To Union City. Oh man, I mean, listen, I loved the pointing, uh, the, the pixel art graphics of the original game, but this really sets up the scale of it. And oh yeah, this looks great. I'm loving it. Look at this. Uh, I think I can run if I want. Yeah, but you know, why run when we can just plod along and take in the sights? And oh! Wow, technology in the future. Look at that. Arm goes up, arm goes down. Arm goes up, arm goes down. 
truly remarkable. All right. Unregistered Gap Lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for. If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. I don't like your attitude, Droid 2CU. What can I talk about? Registration, stalker, missing kid, bye. To see you. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a gap lander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell gap landers like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Let me know how that goes. I don't like how they're spelling droid, because I, I, I just read it as drid. <laughs> I'm drid. Uh, registration? No, no, no. Let's not deal with that right now. Where's the kid? Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Hmm. What about that stalker? I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Oh, there were people in the background. Did you see that? All right. Oh. So these ones are now on this side. Does that mean the conversation's over? Is it just going to repeat the same stuff? Can you tell me about any vehicles that came through here a couple of nights ago? Read my lips. Immigration terminal. Register. You. All right, all right. I get it. So, yeah, when it disappears, it's it's done. Fenito, Zilcho. Have you seen a boy called Milo? No, but I do see an unregistered gap lander. Oh. Okay, so sometimes it disappears and then sometimes it grays out italic. Are you sure you can't help me find Milo? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. You already said that. Good. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't repeating myself enough. Oh, this Drid has got attitude, and I like it. I like it. All right, we'll go register then. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal, and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Oh my god, there's so many things to talk about. What's a Minos? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no you chip no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! You say Minos, I say Minos. Let's call the whole thing off. Uh, yeah, so he mentioned Link there. Link was the evil computer system in the first game. And something... Uh, at the end of the game, there was like a human attached to it. Or like it had turned into a, a half... It was, it was almost like a cyborg thing where it was mechanical but also had flesh. I remember there being a wall of flesh at one point. Um, wait, was it our dad? It might have even been our dad that was plugged in. Oh man, uh, hopefully it'll come back to me. Or we'll just get it explained to us at some point. All right, so do we want to carry on with this conversation? Let's just go. We know where to go. Bye right, for now. Pleasure. Follow the big signs. How can I be of assistance? No, no, I'm done with you now. I'm done with you to see, to see you. I want to go talk to the gang gang birds now. The gang gangs look mean and ugly. They do. What can I do with them? I'm gonna. Oh. 
it knew. It knew I was about to get the crowbar on it. Oh, crowy. All right, so this way to get the chip. The sign was directing me towards immigration. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was people over there, look. Hello, fellow humans. Oh, at least I hope you're humans. Oh man, I'm just kind of taking all the sights here. All citizens are issued a U-chip to access the many benefits of citizenship wherever you see this sign. Oh, I'm too far away. Oh wait, what was that thing then? Oh, was that what she was doing to the dead body? That girl, because it was something to do with the hand, wasn't it? I wondered if the citizens minded being electronically tagged with these U-chips. They probably have no choice. Strange bench. What a strange... Hey, are you How following me? Of Big brother over here. <laughs> it was a tire or modern art. I couldn't tell which. You st oh my god, you actually are. How can I help? Okay, just pretend she's not there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm going, alright? I'm going. Uh, do you know what? Let's put a move on, shall we? Aha. A bin. No, wait. Hand device. And then, what is that back there? Door control. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. No. Right, let's get... It's this, this is kind of like from Futurama, isn't it? With the career chip. Let's get our career chip, shall we? Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Ouch! A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Well, I know. Authorized citizen ID required. Oh, no I don't. Never mind. At least that other robot's gone now, that droid. Druid. Oh, there's someone there as well. Holy moly, sorry, I can't stop looking at this. It looks so cool. What is that noise? It sounds like a... Oh, wait. Oh, it must be St. Patrick's Day here. Oh, that's great. They've dyed the, the river and everything to celebrate. Oh, that's wonderful. Top of the morning to you. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a... a a mech. Oh, it's a broken gate. That's a lot less exciting. <laughs> hey, oh good, tech's on hand. He was a scruffy looking technician. I think that's a bit harsh. I mean, just because he's got a beard. And he maybe smells, I don't know. Talk to me. No, I'm sorry, you don't smell. Excuse me. Oh. Hello, visitor. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander. It's totally cute that you want to help. This mechanism's a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't going to fix itself. Maybe it will. Look at all this tech. Uh, I'm going to turn up the voices just a wee bit because I think their voices are a bit too quiet. Okay, there we are. All sorted. Right, so we can't go that way yet, although I don't want to because I want to go see these people. <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh, it's got a hand thing. Hang on, we can use it. Oh, it's a vending machine. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. Ooh. The machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda labeled Spankles. 
You are currently at your maximum allotted Spangles allowance. Have a nice day. I'll tell you how much Spangles I can have. Give me that. I love the Spangles. Mm. What's this one? Oh, this is Minos. Welcome to Minos. Temp ID. View QDOS history. Nothing. Civic guide. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ministry of Aspiration. Helping you strive every day in every way. Ministry of Wellbeing. Caring for you deeply. Mind and body. Ministry of Safety. Protecting you from cradle to grave. Plenty. Giving you what you want, when you want it. Hey, it's Santa. And Comfort. Soothing away life's sharp edges. Sorry, smoothing away life's sharp edges before you even know they're there. Well, this sounds just lovely, doesn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll live here. I'll live here. The Ministry of Comfort seems very nice, doesn't it? I just imagine a big building full of, like, beanbags or something. Actually, beanbags are really quite uncomfortable. That's a big lie. Beanbags are like the biggest con in the history of the world. You heard it here first. Right, okay, home. That's it. That's all we can do. Do I actually want to read these? Is it actually going to be insightful? Uh, not right now. I'm still in the in the the mood to take it all in, you know, that that first part of a point and click where you just everything's brand new and you're just looking at everything. These are the best parts before you get stuck. <laughs> Although with the in-game help system we should be alright. Oh look it's Joey. He's armless. It was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. The statue's erected and that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> oh, information point. Yeah, that would be lovely. That would be very useful. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. The Union City walls were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. This couldn't be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported, along with workers, from Hull in the United Kingdom. Many of the citizens of Union City can trace their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated group of immigrants. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Oh, that was really comforting. I feel comforted by that, uh, that fact there. It's actually going to change every time. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. You may have noticed that there are a large number of gang gang birds in this area. These beautiful and appealing birds are a member of the cockatoo family and are categorized by a large wispy crest found on the top of their heads. Gang gang are endemic to this region and are found in heavily populated areas. The birds may startle easily but they are particularly efficient predators and can often be found carrying non-food items Boring. that they have taken a shine to. This concludes your requested fact. Boring. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Shut up now. Alright, yeah that one wasn't as good. Gonna be honest. That's it. Oh. Uh... <laughs> uh, listen, animal cruelty, they, you know, I don't want to see animals in pain, but that was pretty good. Now, let's not be stupid enough to do exactly the same thing. No, let's not. There was something strange about the water, and there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. 
Hmm. Why? What is behind it? Oh yeah, look at it. Look at it zap away. Alright, I did just see... Oh, there's some people over here. And this wonderful sculpture looks a bit like, um... Henry Moore, maybe? A metaphysical symmetry of curvature. Man and machine. If that was art, I must have been missing something. Oh, well, you're just not like me, are you, Foster? Honestly, so... Okay, you stay away from that bin, gang gang bird. I've... Listen... I deal with seagulls enough. I know what they're like with black bin bags and just mess everywhere. I'm not having it in this game as well. Oh, look, it's you. I recognize the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Hey. Excuse me. Hello? You. Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. Lost your what? To who? Do you realise how much potential trade you've cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. Come on, Foster. It's not that difficult to work out what she's saying. The deet. And... Big John. What was his name? <laughs> The body. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deet, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a deet? My DEET, man. DTT. Data transfer tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. The DEETs. Give me the DEETs on the DEETs. Oh, so Big Steve was... the bird? <laughs> Big Steve. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the corpse's name, but no, the bird is Big Big Steve. Oh, we better watch out for Big Steve, or try and find him and get that back. Okay, so she trades. She's a trader. I don't really care. Tell me about the kid. I'm looking for a boy named Milo, who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Are you sure you haven't seen a young boy? Kinda hard to get lost in a crowd here. This place ain't exactly Aspiration Plaza. So no, I haven't seen your kid. Ooh, Aspiration Plaza, let's go there. That sounds good, that sounds aspirational. Uh, dead body trade, or maybe if we do trade something with her, she'll be nicer. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got, like, everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my deet, that is. Oh, we are going to need to find Big Steve, aren't we? We really are. Tell me about this DEET. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the DEET to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already, I was deeding his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my DEET and, ipso facto, the ID. So with the ID, you DEET with the DEETer and then you DEET with the ID's DEET to get into the DEET. I understand. What's a U-chip? It holds your identity, yeah? All your messages and likes and favourites and that. Everyone from the city has one. So, you want something or you want to get inside your house and you just... Boop! And it just happens. Huh. I mean, that's that's not even that difficult to imagine right now. Aren't they doing that sort of thing with... with implants and brains and stuff? I don't know. Right. 
Uh, let's let's try and get that deep then, shall we? Oh no, we didn't ask about the stalker. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. Not yet, anyway. Um, I think... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure we've still got stuff to say because it's not greyed out yet, but what else can we know? Any idea whose body that was out there? Don't know. Just some guy from the city. How do you know? Because I got the citizen's ID from his U-chip. Duh. So are you digging that guy's U-chip out of his hand? What? No! Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price? Uh, yeah. This is a very strange conversation that I feel is just going around in circles a little bit. <laughs> Like, if I hear the word DEET one more time... I got a U-chip with a temporary ID from over there. Good for you. They're free. Can I get into the city with it? No. And yes. And no. Break that down for me. No, a temp ID is so they can keep track of you around here. Won't get you inside. Yes, I could DEET that corpse's ID onto a U-chip. And no, because as you well know, my DEET's been eaten. Oh, there we are. No more deets, please. Goodbye. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. You know what? Good deet to you. I'm going to look at your bench. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. It looks fine. Grabbits. Inde oh, that's her name. Grabbits Independent Traders. <laughs> Better than Trotters, I suppose. <laughs> Is it? Can we? Do we know then? Oh, Ember. Ember Grabbit. Nice name. Or maybe that's just her, her business name. I don't know. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's a kid. Hello. Hello, little boy. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. All right. First of all, you're weird. Second of all, Pixel does not rhyme with pickle. Pixel, pickle. That's not even... Is that a half rhyme? Maybe? They do not rhyme. Stu see, kids these days, stuck on their TikToks and their YouTube for kids, they're not learning. They're not learning rhymes. Honestly. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old, and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math, and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? Mm, I'm going to need that colander. Wait, roundabout? Oh, right, the one he's right next to. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> Silly Mr. Hobsworth. Whoever that is. Uh, let's ask about... Let's just find out more about Pixel. What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt down radio tower. But it's like so boring there. We come here for the action. I can see why. Yeah, you're having a great time here. Oh, hello. So, enough about you. And your colander that's in the camera. Um, where's this kid? I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? 
Like, at least twelve? How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Useless. You sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope. Definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. Tall, wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. I see. Nice one. And his name was Fossil! <laughs> I got the joke, kid. Uh, where's my crowbar? No, oh, right, no. Let's just finish this conversation. Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Vauxhall, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Vauxhall says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Vauxhall, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. <sighs> this is why you don't talk to children. Just full stop. Do I really want to ask about his brother? Pixel and Voxel, honestly. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. Let me guess, I'm gonna fix the roundabout for you, eh? Your roundabout probably has a chain on it for a reason. Yeah, and that reason is Mr. Hobsworth is stupid. Can you fix it? Alright then. Well, do I need to keep talking about Vox? No, let's just do it. Bye. Call it if you need anything. I need a break from this kid. Right, where's this chain? I don't see any chain. And can I? Aha! Push. All oh, right, it's right. It was right in front of him there. Okay. Right, chain, crowbar. Let's just make sure not to get the crowbar anywhere near. Uh, Old pixel there, shall we? No, we wouldn't want that. Stand back. This is so exciting. Go on then. Push me. Oh god. So needy. We Oh, you're having a great time. Please don't puke on me. No, 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 no more. No more. It's my turn now. You push me. Is that enough? Does he trust us now? Hey, kid. Push me. Uh. Push me. I've got things to do. Push me. Fine. Right, we'll just come back to you. I'm gonna carry on looking around for a second. <gasps> Can I go on the swing? Oh, that's a very stiff swing. Oh! Oh, he's left it. Alright, good. Keep it. Hey. Oh, they're talking to each other. Well, my turn to talk now. Hello? Never mind. I promise I won't do the thing. Excuse me? Talk to me now. Hey, me again. 
Wanna push me on the swings? Maybe later. Uh... What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. I'm a perfectly safe stranger, yes. See you around. Call it if you need anything. Oh, I'll uh, holler. I'll uh, holler, yeah. Oh, man, so many Australian accents. I, I mean, I'm terrible. I can't do an Australian accent, so I need to not even try. But there's just... The temptation is there. Everyone has the accent. <gasps> Let's play in a sand pit. A sand pit? In the desert? The irony sure wasn't lost on me. Irony? No. So, garden... In the garden, behind a bench or something, is where his brother is. Does... Is this place going to be there? Or is there a separate place? No, it was like their home, wasn't it? So that's not going to be here. Oh, wait. Wasn't there a There person? was a strange smell, and it was coming. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Foster, I just interrupted you. Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. Truck doors, they look stinky. But yeah, I wanted to go talk to this guy. It's a trucker. Hey! The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it, too. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Joe Wendell, eh? All oh, right, well, I was just saying about Australian accents. Here we are. We got a British one, finally. Okay, Wendell. What's that smell about? I don't want to alarm you, but there's a strange odour wafting from the back of your truck. I don't smell out. Really? Because it's like... Except the splendid scent of tasty mini Ks, the finest organic knack verse the Gap has to offer. Don't believe me? Look at those gang gangs. They love my knack verse. <laughs> Can't chase them away. I don't want to think about your knack verse. <laughs> Whatever that is. So, your truck is full of mini knack verse? You betcha. Mini K. Best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it, I'm full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Wasn't it wallop, jig, jerk? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this game is filthy. It's filthy. Do we want to go try that now? Let's No, let's talk a little bit more first. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Well, I spoke to one of them. He was annoying. What was that you said about other missing kids? N nothing specific. Go on, try me. Oh, just rumours. Voices on the wind, campfire tales. One man's kidnapping is another man's wandered off and fell down an hole, says I. No kids round here. Oh, except those young bucks over yonder. Sorry I can't help. That's okay, Wendell. How long have you been here? Lost count, but the delicious aroma emanating from my mini Ks suggests at least two days. Aren't you worried that they uh, might be going rancid? 
I'm nothing that a healthy chlorine wash won't fix. Hmm. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. I have, but that's a that's a separate matter altogether. Uh, let's ask about Brucey, the Brucey bonus. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. That's where I come in. I'm the most competent man you'll ever meet. Uh, uh, doors. The doors, they're locked shut. Not locked, jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the... Then... Okay. Ah, uh, pretty... Have to move with the times, pal. I'm not listening to that again with the weird joking stuff. No, thank you. Let's, um... Let's let's say goodbye to Wendell. Be seeing you. Hi. Oh, be seeing you. Be, isn't that... Yeah, that... Didn't they used to say that in the first game as well? Because I, I would have mentioned about um, the prisoner. That's how they always used to end conversations in that TV series. Be seeing you. It's always got a kind of creepy undertone to me for that very reason. Which fits very well with this game. Okay, so we've got some stinky mini Nuckverst in there. We've got a brother somewhere in the benches over there, maybe. Um, we've got some trading that we need to do with... What's her name again? Ember. A broken bridge. A sassy robot. And... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Wendell. Okay, well, I think uh, I'm going to leave it there for this first episode. We've done a lot of talking, a lot of meeting people and kids and places and getting started exploring this universe. It's been good. I've really liked how this has started. I love the visuals. I'm liking the characters and it's all, yeah, it's all started really nicely. So yeah, let's see where it goes. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching and goodbye.